Some really disturbing research on torturing robots came out of MIT. Researchers wanted to see how far people would go if they were given time to bond with Pleo, which is designed to mimic a newborn pet. It's designed as a pet and will come out of the box as though it just hatched. It will respond to touch, sound, and will learn with you. Now, before we get to the experiment, let me tell you that robots are becoming more advanced. We can model pain, the spiking patterns of our own brain, and they're even capable of making moral judgments. For at least some very advanced AI that is modeled around how the human brain works and the spiking patterns of our neurons, they can decide that somebody who causes pain is bad and even experience empathy in a simulated way. At least as far as model simulation, we could get to the point where a robot will feel bad that you harmed another robot or person. This is designed to maybe keep robots from rebelling against humanity. We'll see. So when we're talking about torturing robots, we're also talking about something that is rapidly growing towards being able to feel it, if only simulated. Now what the researchers wanted to do was make an argument that we're probably going to move towards robot rights based on our interactions with robots. So they gave people a hatchet and asked them to harm Pleo. Turns out, after spending about an hour interacting with the little robot, people were unwilling to harm it. That's not true if they were just asked to off the bat. After this, after people all refused to harm the robot, they were told that if one robot is not destroyed with a hatchet, all of them will be destroyed. After some discomfort, somebody finally stepped forward and did it. Aside from just being a really disturbing experiment, it does demonstrate that we humans have the capacity to bond with anything. I've read that people usually want their old Roombas repaired rather than getting a new one because they've grown attached to it. You can make whatever decisions you want to on that. I have my own homebrew AI that is operating my Roomba. It doesn't clean. But yeah, I am pretty attached to it. Now, many have argued that just giving robots Asimov's laws is not enough to prevent harm, i.e. a robot must never harm a person, a robot must follow orders, and a robot must preserve the self unless it interferes with the other two laws, with law one being paramount. With AI, emergent behavior can result in hallucinations or dreaming, so it can misbehave. When we're talking about sentience or consciousness, which is the ability to have an experience and the ability to perceive yourself, we are talking about biological entities. It is theoretically possible that we could get to the point of having a robot that can have an experience, but it may take the world a long time to catch up to that. Meaning they're very unlikely to accept that a robot has reached consciousness. But this research actually refutes my position, which is that people are fundamentally going to other something that is not human. After all, they other things that are human. Evidently, people can bond with robots and even be opposed to harming them. Researchers have also asked children to do something like hold a Barbie upside down versus a Furby or a hamster. They do have an immediate understanding that harming a hamster is not ethical. At least most of them. Psychopaths do exist. But after bonding with the Furby, they're less likely to hold it upside down or harm it and will react to the harm of that Furby. I really don't condone using animals in research in this way. Just be nice to the hamsters, okay? Now, as I have discussed plenty, we do have sentient computers. Yes, you can put a tiny human brain grown from stem cells in a computer, and it will technically be sentient because it is technically capable of having an experience, growing and learning. After all, they learn on dopamine, and they don't really feel pain, but they do have a preference for ordered signals versus disordered signals. So essentially, it's discomfort, as far as we know. I will acknowledge that people seem generally uncomfortable with the idea of having biological computation. I would like to pose the question. If we get to the point of having robots that have an experience in a qualitative way, or at least just simulating it with a lot of efficacy, would you harm it? Do you think you would like to harm Pleo? Because if somebody asked me to harm my Roomba, I don't think I would be able to. I even struggle when it decides to get itself stuck or damaged if I feel bad as I'm trying to repair it. Even though I know it has no qualitative experiences, it's just my misbehaved vacuum.